What is up? Today we are doing yet another video in the car. Another little drive with me, if you will, but it's not gonna be drive with me because I'm just gonna drive to a parking lot and then sit in the parking lot and talk. But today's topic is gonna be girl talk because you guys have been watching this video forever. So if you're not a girl, I guess you can watch if you want, but this is all relating to girl things. So keep that in mind. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna drive to like some random parking lot and get some good lighting and talk to you guys. Also, my hair has been in a bun for a week straight. I don't know. I'll fix my hair. It looks really bad, but I'll fix it once we get to the parking lot. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, I'm in a parking lot. Um, I was gonna face the sun, but it is so harsh right now. Like I need another like hour, but I'm already here. So first, I'm gonna fix my hair because wow, that hair tie came out so easy. Looking great. The funny part is I spent like a long time curling my hair, like. Monday I think and it looked so good and then every day since then I've just worn it in a bun so I guess it'd be like that how's that look I guess that works is there like a plane above me why is it so loud Oh, I look after. So I went on Instagram and just asked you guys to ask me any sort of girl talk questions or whatever that you have. So let's just read through them and expose things about myself and talk. We're all family, we're like best friends. This is such a chill vibe, no judgment here. So everyone can share their experiences in the comments as well. And we can just be one big girl gang. Ew, why did I hate the way that sounded? Okay, here we go. All right, so first off, we're gonna hop in. I have a lot of questions about birth control. How did my body react to birth control? What's it like being on the pill? How do you feel like it changes you? All that kind of stuff. Um, I did make a little bit of an updated birth control pill video, but just a little background. I had the Nexpanon implant, absolutely hated it, ruined me, I was always moody caused depression, all this stuff. So then I was on no birth control for like a month and then I got on the pill in August. And at first I was super, super, super depressed. Like it affected me so bad. I don't know if it was like the cause, but it definitely wasn't helping with my situation in life um, because it, when you first are pumping in some new hormones, of course, you're gonna be all over the place. Um, but now, I feel like my body has adjusted. I don't really find myself being moody or feeling super down because of my birth control anymore. The only problem is that I have my period twice a month. It's always like really like short. It's like three day periods instead of like five to seven days. And it's really light, so it's not that big of a deal, but I get really bad cramps and that's the worst part. So as much as I thought I'd like being on the pill, like just take a pill every day, it's fine. I have started to not like it because I have my period twice a month. Remember, not remembering to take it every day, I've never forgot, but just like the fact that I have to do it every day. So I have been looking into the non-hormonal IUD because I feel like that would be a better method for me. So let me know your guys' experience in the comments. Your first bra story. <laughs> okay, so um, when I was the age where you need to start wearing like a training bra, uh, my parents had gotten a divorce not that much like before this and <laughs> so I was living with my dad, my single dad, and he was dating this girl and she took me bra shopping. My dad's girlfriend at the time. <laughs> like it wasn't that big of a deal because like, I don't know, I wasn't that embarrassed about it or whatever because I'm like, hey, well this is like a woman, she's gone through it, she can help me. But it was just so funny, like, of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, my story is a little, it's a little weird, but shaving routine really okay so first of all only shave if you want to i personally hate hair like everywhere i don't want it anywhere except for like my eyebrows on the top of my head so i am getting laser hair removal and it is the best decision i have ever made um i've only gone to my one appointment so not much change yet but i have my second one coming up soon and i'm just so excited to not deal with it anymore but um, personally, I use a company called Billy. This is not sponsored in any way, but you pay like, I think it's like $10 a month and they send you like four razor heads and you can choose if you want it every month, every other month, every third month, you can pause it. It's a really great brand and the razors are super cute and they work well. I've been using them for like a year now. Honestly, yeah, like a year. I started using them in like December, 2019, so. 
I love that company. For the longest time, I would use coconut oil to shave, but then it started dulling my razors, so I don't know, it makes your legs really soft. But also, I feel like it puts like a layer of like oil that I don't want there and like clogs my pores. So lately, I've just been using conditioner to shave. I don't know, I need tips just as much as you guys do. But I'm getting laser hair removal, so I'm about to not have to worry about it. <laughs> embarrassing period stories and your preferences on pads or tampons. So I kind of talked about this in my most embarrassing stories, but I couldn't use a tampon until I was 17. And I know a lot of people relate because my comment section was just popping with people like, oh, well, I'm like 20 and still can't use one. So. It's totally fine, like, don't feel bad about yourself because I used to be so embarrassed about it. Like, it took me so much to be able to, like, tell one of my friends that. Like, it's so embarrassing, but it really isn't. Like, it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, so, tips on how to use a tampon for the first time because some people get their first period, put it in a tampon, and they're good to go. No, I passed out. First time I used a tampon, I passed out. The second time I put it in, I put it in wrong or, like, not far enough up. I don't really remember why hurt so bad but I was like in pain and felt like I was gonna pass out the whole time and then every time I tried after that I would almost pass out so I just stop um so then I was 17 and I was like okay I just need to figure this out like it needs to be done I'm 17 years old or was I 18 I honestly can't remember but uh, I was at my mom's house and my mom was always, she was like, Sid, you have to be able to use a tampon because I'm that girl that in college when my friends couldn't use tampons, I was the one that showed them how and made them like start using them because they changed your life. Like you can go swimming. You can just not worry about it. You just put it up there and you're good to go. So I was like, okay, we're going to do this. So I go in the bathroom. My mom's standing on the door like outside the bathroom and she's like, okay, you're not coming out until you have a tampon in. So I was doing it and I guess my, <laughs> this is like so much of my tips is to just like you have to relax and just breathe and not overthink it and not stress about it And I would honestly suggest having like a best friend or a mom or someone you really trust and is like super comfortable with Literally stand there and explain to you like how you need to put it up because you kind of have to put it at like an angle uh, You can look up like diagrams and stuff But having someone just like tell you and guide you through it. I feel like works the best that worked for me um, but just relax. Just breathe. It's gonna be okay. Um, you're not gonna die. The worst thing that can happen is you have to take it out. So it's, it's gonna be okay. So there's my tips, I guess. I've been there and I was that girl. And now I can go to the beach on my period. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the amount of beach trips that I'd go on and I'd just be sitting there like in shorts and like not swimming. And everyone's like, Sid, what are you doing? Go put your swimsuit on. I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend giving it a try. Okay, pregnancy scares. Have I had any? I haven't. I haven't had like a real pregnancy scare. My mind likes to trick me and tell me I'm pregnant, but I'm actually about to start my period. I've never like been late. Well, I have really irregular periods, but I've never been like so late that it was concerning. And yeah, so I've never had a scare, but I have been on birth control almost the entire time that I've been married. So not too worried about it. And I don't want kids for a long time. Your first time, does it hurt? Okay, this is like the most asked question and I was gonna make a video about this, but I, I don't know, it's just so much information about myself. But, um, okay, so the first time, I got so many questions about it, we're gonna just do a brief like what to expect when you lose your virginity. It's probably gonna hurt, that's just how it is. Um, but to help it not hurt, you just need to be super, super relaxed. Lots of foreplay, lube, you definitely need lube. Take your time, go slow because you don't want to hurt. And the more relaxed you are, the more comfortable you are, the less it's going to hurt. Um, also, I got asked this question, so I'll go ahead and say, yes, I did bleed, my cherry was popped. <laughs> so the next day, I had my reception, and I bled through my white rope that said like wifey on it that I was supposed to like get ready in and take cute pictures in, I bled, because I didn't realize that I was bleeding. So I just had like a super light tampon. It's not very much bleeding at all. It's way, way, way less than a period, and it doesn't last very long it doesn't happen to everyone like you're not broken if it doesn't happen but if it does happen it's okay and you're gonna be fine the pain is unbearable it's not like extreme pain and it gets better don't expect your 
first time to make the best time ever, especially if it's both of your first times. So there's my advice for your first time. Just relax, chill, let it happen. It's gonna be okay. Just gonna get better from there. Okay, so now moving on to like less uncomfortable topics. Just talking about like confidence and someone said how to learn to love things you don't like about yourself. This is a struggle and I still even struggle with it. I've kind of like talked a little bit about my insecurities. Like everyone has insecurities. Like it's just a thing, you know? I'm pretty insecure about my body. I'm working on liking it and I feel like that's important. For once, I feel like I'm actually like getting closer to being confident in myself. But literally some of the best advice that I've taken is fake it till you make it. Like act like whatever it is you don't like your about yourself is like your favorite thing about yourself and don't listen to other people's opinions. I know it's harder than it sounds, but you literally just have to fake it till you make it. Confidence is so attractive and even if it's fake confidence, it works. Like the more confident you are in yourself, other people are gonna see you that way too. So like if you're worried about, I don't even know, um, like my teeth. I used to be really, really insecure about my teeth. I had braces and Invisalign because they were just so bad and I'm glad I got it fixed but I still can be insecure about it sometimes but I just like literally fake it I'm just like oh I love my smile I love my teeth I don't care that they're like huge <laughs> it's fine and I just smile all the time and then I like I've never had someone point out my teeth ever since I started just like faking it like I'm confident we're good it's fine and I feel like that kind of goes with everything you can't give someone else the power to take away your confidence like people are gonna say mean things like people are jerks sometimes and you can't let it affect what you're thinking on the inside like what you think changes your life so much like it's so true if you're always thinking negative thoughts negative things are always gonna happen to you but if you're always thinking positive confidence how you love yourself talking yourself up hyping yourself, you have to be your biggest hype man and like the world will just change it'll feel different and I've recently gone through this from going like so self-deprecating all the time always talking bad about myself always looking at myself in the mirror and saying all the things I hated about myself to literally doing the opposite always talking positive as much as I can uh, saying everything I love about myself telling myself I love things that I no, I don't actually love about myself and like the world has just changed like everything is always positive for me And I'm way more confident. So it's kind of like manifesting Confidence in yourself if that makes sense. I Just went off my first period story. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. I think I remember So I was 11 when I started my period. I was like one of the first of my friend groups It was like me and then one other girl started like not too long after me. So I was pretty young and I live I've always lived with my dad, but like my mom and I had had you know talks about it and she's like she gave me like this little purse of like tampons and pads like hey if you start it and you're at your dad's house just take this purse and you can talk to your stepmom about it if you want you can call me you can come over whatever so I knew like ahead of time that I'd be okay and but I would always like always hoped that I could start at my mom's so that I wouldn't have to deal with that but I didn't of course I started at my dad's and luckily I started my period like while I was sleeping one night like I wasn't at school or anything so it's a pretty chill story I started my period and I realized it so and then I started having really bad cramps like I had never felt cramps before obviously so I didn't know how bad they were I'd always heard like my mom and like other people talk about how bad cramps were and like bad cramps kind of like run in my family and like really bad ones and so I thought I was dying like I felt so bad I was literally crying so I went up into my dad's room it was like super late at night my dad and my stepmom and I was like I think I started my period and I'm in so much pain so my stepmom like helped me like do you need anything you know got me hooked up and then they just let me like sleep on their floor in there and my dad got me a heating pad and I just like basically cried all night <laughs> so it wasn't like super embarrassing or anything it was just painful because of the cramps and I still deal with that so that's great <laughs> okay well I feel like that pretty much covers everything that you guys wanted to talk about and ask so I hope you enjoyed this girl talk video if you guys want to see more videos like this which is kind of like us hanging out then let me know what you'd want to see and I can do that thank you guys so much for kind of hanging out with me and talking leave all of your stories and suggestions and tips and tricks down below so all of us girls can use them and relate to them all right I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye!